Hi guys, it's Minx here, and welcome back to more, hi buddy, more maze. You guys seem to really enjoying this, I'm loving playing it, so uh, let's keep going, shall we? We're now back in this area. Now we can take this thing and fix the machine, that is correct. Let's go keep an eye out for Evil Corn Man. Which way was it again? It's, it's back this way. Vladdy, come on. Keep up, all right? Jesus. All right, down here we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. But yeah, I'm really enjoying doing this full-length single-player playthrough. I haven't done one, you know, outside of... Um, outside of Game With stuff for a while. And it's nice just to play through a game and commentate. And I think, I think my commentary's been pretty good. I hope it's been pretty good. You guys seem to be enjoying it. So thank you very much for sticking around and watching this. I'm going to try up here first. I can't actually remember which way it was to uh, the machine that needs fixing, so I'll have to have a little look around. But that's okay. So far, very solid game. This is correct. Oh dear. I need the other half of the cog, don't I? But I do have the stepladder now, so I can go around this way and progress this direction. There we go. Oh, God. Okay, guys, it's Mix here. I'm going to level with you guys. Um, I recorded for about an hour of Maze just now, and the sound didn't record. So, um, <laughs> I have to replay this entire section all over again. Um, I'm going to have shown you the lead up into this bit here without background sound, I'm afraid. Purely because... Well, I didn't have any, <laughs> but I didn't want to replay the whole chapter before this one. But now we are back on track. Me and Vadi are up here in the cornfield, and we're going to start looking around. So what we need to do is have a look around here and see what we can find. The men living here look very bored. More we have a wrench. Stupid garbage, idiot. This wrench is something you could use to get rid of the chemical liquid that fills the pool. Here's a hint, it doesn't involve throwing it in the pool itself. That is definitely not what it involves. The person here, Jesus. The person here was so bored they built a massive tower out of cups and blue shit. Fantastic. Eat a lot of pizza as well. Pizza seems to be very popular. There's a lot. There is a lot of pizza here. Holy shit. A lot of pizza here. We have a fuel jug. Look to the fuel for the tractor nearby. Being the septic you are, you took several gulps of liquid inside to confirm the theory on what it was, and you were right. Drinking fuel. Lovely. What I will do at the end of this section is go through all the foliage, because the foliage items stay in your inventory once you pick them up once, they vanish from the game. So what I will do is I'll show you what foliage items I found previously, you know, at the end of this uh, section as it were, so you guys don't miss out. We need to use the wrench on here, which drained the chemical runoff pool. The smell remains. So this pool here is where Bob was storing all the chemical blood waste. Blood. He cannot smell. It would be worse than garbage here. Sensibly stores all the chemical waste, which has been gradually eating away into the soil around here, which presumably is where a lot of bad shits happened, I think. Regardless, though, we did find a toolbox key, which is the important thing. Look at the- you still see the stench of the chemicals just hanging in the fucking air. That's so fucking gross. Anyway, let's set up here. Sir, hey! This needs some repairs! Yes, it can't do that thing it does anymore. What does it do again? Goes places! All oh, right, yes, I remember. Okay, so we need to fix this tractor here. Be some junk! We got some things that can help. We got some fuel. There we go, but it's not fully ready yet. We need to look around and find some more stuff for that. So in case you haven't noticed, we are back at the barn. 
The route to the house has been blocked off by lots of orange crates, which I'm assuming the corn stack up, by the way. I think they're literally like, hey, we're going to stack up some stuff here. Lol, 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 lol. And that's going to funnel you in the right direction. There was a lock toolbox over by my good old friend, Fernando. There was something in the what air that this night. stupid thing? It's very important, Vladdy thinks. And that man appears to be dead. He, he is really very dead. He doesn't look too good, does he? No, not at all. Rather sickly in appearance. Has he eaten anything in the past year? I don't think so. Do you think he has the mumps? Very likely. It might have something to do with all that lightning that caused through his body. And that he was possibly told he would get godlike powers if he was connected to that machine. Quality work on that, by the way. Thank you. So they tricked him into hooking himself up to this lot rod. Oh, yes, very much. Good reads. I guess the corn reader didn't like Fernando. Why does Vladdy have to carry stupid bag when you take all this stupid garbage? The best compound to make ancient parts squeaky clean and rust free, but the worst thing is to put on a salad as garnish. Lucky you don't know what a salad is, so you'll never make that mistake. That is true, I do not know what a salad is. Right, so we now have the WT-40. Is it is it called WT in real? I think it's like WG... Is it, I don't know, WD-40? I want to say WD. I want to say normally it's called WD. Normally, probably, possibly, maybe. Prep the tractor, it's ready to go. On you get a little yes, bass. Of course, Vladdy should drive this stupid thing. Makes most sense. Large chance for pain and suffering. Idiot. Why are you so mean to be Vladdy? Boy, stupid idiot. Vladdy do everything. Always Vladdy. Hey! How does Vladdy start this stupid thing? Like this? This is gonna go well, guys, I can tell. Okay. Stupid thing. Stupid thing, go! Ha <laughs> ha! This is good, ah! This is... Uh-oh. I cheat on your vessel off. Uh, everything under control! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing! Go that way! Oh, that way! Ah, so that's what it does. Well, that didn't go well. No, not at all. You can tell we're in a fictional universe, by the way, purely because real tractors only go about two miles an hour and are incapable of causing that degree of destruction on any level whatsoever. What the fuck are their tables here? What the fuck were they doing? There's tables everywhere! What the fuck? That is a lot, a lot of tables. Okay. Glad. He's in a rose bush. It's alright, Vladdy, I'll get you out. There you go. Lucy drug. Vladdy thought this place had no purpose, but that was wrong. It does. It is to destroy Vladdy. Everything here was made to make Vladdy suffer. And you are worst of all. You upset. killed my uncle! You killed my uncle! I'm right here! Oh, that's right. We're not helping you anymore! You're mean! Because of the whole running a lot of us over business! You could have asked first! And nicely! Jerk! Boo! 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 There is absolutely nothing that will make us change our mind! Nothing at all! Nope! Unless you played that song we really like. Oh, yes. At our favourite spot. That could work. But nothing else. Idiot plants. You go. Vladdy fix this stupid thing. You get stupid plants out of the way. Well, my soul pass have been close to you in case it wasn't obvious. I guess the really pissed off plants have uh, locked us in here with their walls of orange. Fortunately, though, I do know where to go. Past the hideous statue of Bob, posing as a potato. A new path, this was balled off before. We had yet to been to the windmill. 
We've got a boom box. These boom boxes were strategically placed around the facility to improve morale. Coincidentally, the same week the entire staff ended up in the infirmary for hearing related issues. What else do we have here? We have the other part of the gear, which we've been looking for to fix the machine back in the original area. Okay. The boom box is the key here. Because the corn said they like their favourite song in their favourite place. This happens to be their favourite place. Let's go. Thanks to those rad tunes, a new path has opened up to you. Well, I guess we should go that way then. That sounded like a banging jam. Is that was that what the kids say these days? Bang, bang, banging, bang, banging. I'm 32, okay, guys. Jesus. And we have quite a long way to backtrack to here, because we are going back to where we originally started the game on that little sort of like uh, area with the river and the chain link fence. The tractor has gone a long way. Vladdy, you okay? I hope Vladdy hasn't had a horrible and devastating accident of some description. Oh, there's yellow shit everywhere. As you can see, chain link fence, no more. It's not really chain link, is it? It's like, it's a shit fence, let's be honest. And here what is, is Vladdy. Problem? Stupid thing did job. Next time. Whoops. Huh? That's it? All this pain and suffering for Vladdy, and you push the stupid thing into the water? Why you never say anything, idiot? You know, it's miracle that Vladdy did this. Vladdy had no idea what he was doing. Vladdy not mechanic. Vladdy could barely reach pedals. All for what? <sighs> we should see where that stupid floating thing end up. Probably in place with all the water, because of course it would, because everything hates Vladdy! Vladdy's running away, decided to help you, but if you get in the boat, he'll still follow. Before we get in the boat, though, let's have a look at some of the items that I missed. There's a lot of things that you guys won't have seen, so, um... Let me see what I picked up from before. I know we've seen this one before, but I want to just point this out again. It's a diagram torn in half containing a drawing of a scarecrow. I'm wondering if we are like a sentient scarecrow. And I have been wondering that for a while, that we're different to everything else. And we've mutated because of all the shit that was like pumped into the soil and stuff. Got a pizza flyer from the house from before. A flyer for a local pizza restaurant. It looks like it was frequented often by facility staff. It includes a special for their signature quintuple cheese pizza, which it offers to customers for free if they can finish it in 20 minutes or less without suffering a massive heart attack. We have a pool flyer. The flyer for pools, pools, and pest removal advertises the big savings for orders within a 20 mile radius of the shop, along with free extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. You're not really sure if this particular rock is rock at all, or simply a very cleverly coloured sponge. You've named it Jarvish. This could be a different one, I'm not actually sure of... Uh... No, I, th I think this is the right order. And we have the, quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense. I don't know if, again, I, some of these might be out of sync. I do apologise, by the way. I'm pretty sure I've read that one before. But um, regardless, we'll uh, keep going for now. Come on, buddy. Let's get in the bite. So here we are. We need to get this by using the crane. So let's use the crane. Unfortunately, every time we use the crane, this cunt is going to ruin it. So we'll go forward here. And he instantly pulls it back because he is a complete cunt. It's alright though. I have a solution for this problem. For a start, let's uh, put our two bits of this down on here. But more importantly, we need to do the following here. We need to put some craft glue on here. And then stick the popcorn ad on there. 
If we do both those things and then activate the lever again. Obviously, it's really happy. Very stupid. It, it was pretty stupid, buddy. I agree. Now we can use the crane, though, to our own devices to go and pick up this propane tank, which we really need. And that should be a propane tank for us there. Voila! Now we need to get it actually out of here. Nearly there, take it to the green lights. And then we can lower it and all our propane related dreams will become reality. Voila again! Alright. Let's use this to weld the cog together. Fantastic. Bloody, get your ass in there and fix it. Uh, bloody already fixed, stupid door. I'm, I'm sorry to have to make you do this all the time, Vladdy, but it isn't My necessary, you know. You. Stupid idiot makes Vladdy do everything. Crawling through. Ah! Oh! Idiot Ooh. should be crawling through stupid. Ah! Oh! I said it painful. Suffering all this. Oh! Ah! Put some boy! You done your face, Alu! You done your loop, loo! Vladdy had enough! You stupid, dumb, idiot, American garbage! You. Of course that work! Because this is the stupidest, dumbest place there is! An idiot just stands there looking even more stupid! I don't look stupid! <sighs> now what we do, stupid? We go and fix the machine. But his idea world has no vents of any kind whatsoever. Were those orange things there before? Did like the, uh, the guy scatter them? As he ran down possibly the world's tallest staircase of all time. Let's be honest, there's no staircases in the entire universe bigger than this one. Which way is it? I think it's up here, I want to say. I guess we'll find out in a second if I'm right or wrong. Come on, bloody, keep up. We get to be at least. I don't like this section. I don't like the sewers very much. Voila! Voila! Great! We did it. Why did we do this? Oh no, what now? Hello! Good to see you! You did a very good job. Yes. Very good. What did you do again? Press the button! Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. We're still there being a bit sarcastic. A that's right. Yes, it's very important. What was it again? Do not free our queen! No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Oh, God, we're going to have to choose, aren't we? One or the other. Whatever the message was, that button pressing was very impressive. Oh, yes. Very. Uh, can you guys eat a dick or corn? Oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. So what do we do now? Something productive. Another nap? Yes! That's the most productive thing I can think of. I hate these people so much, these corn people. Stupid corn. I do not know what worse. Idiot plants, the stupid ugly idiot plant, or you. No, Vladi, no. It is you. <laughs> idiot. I love Vladi so much. A little dizzy now being insulted is actually my fetish. So we have this. Bob, how is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of all elevators did you not understand? The stupid thing is expensive, completely useless death trap. Twit. We're going to use it anyway. Death traps are great. And here we are in another section. This is the last section that I managed to do before I realised that I wasn't recording my sound. So, yeah. <laughs> You're right, laddie. 
Everything in this place is so stupid! Vladdy is questioning everything about this adventure. I love this, by the way. This is a fucking painted wall, look. Bobby twit, where's the hallway? I broke my nose running into this stupid painted wall. Sorry, Ted. Should have told you about that. I sold it for scrap to pay for the lobbies. Whoops. Also, just to point out, these are gold statues of Bob everywhere here. Gold ones. He's spending a fucking fortune. Yes, why not? Another stupid door for Vladdy to fix. Idiot. Vladdy teleported there. That threw me off a bit. Okay, Vladdy. Fix the door, please. Good so boy. Vladdy know what to do. Just hit stupid thing until... There we go. Well done. What a stupid place this is. There's a little maintenance coffee trolley. Pause for applause. Woo! Okay, I'll stop. Anyway, I'll go through here and solve the puzzles, and I'll go through the items I found down here that you won't see. Like, the uh, the optional items, basically. Bob, I'm not going to ask you again. Clean your own fish tanks. I lost all, the ju all of July because of you, jerk. Also, this is the biolab, although it isn't, as you will soon find out. I'm not pressing Q. Such a waste. Americans should be working on more important things like surviving winter or being less stupid. Bob, in the rare occurrence that you're actually done erecting statues to yourself, I'd like to inform you you're being audited. As in, how are we going to explain where all this money went? And why is there talking corn all over this stupid facility? I know I shouldn't have indulged your help with your stupid, narcissistic, buffoonish, idiotic moron. You drove me to erect that stupid statue of myself. It was made of rare earth metals. It cost millions. Hi, Ted. We're in a pickle, aren't we? Not to worry. I've got a couple more ideas up my sleeve. We'll make all this money back in a jiffy. For God's sake, Bob. No tours. No, no tours, no. Resorts, no. Casinos, idiot. I guess he wants a casino. A bit of tape here. A well-known method to bypass fingerprint security scans in the facility was to put a fingerprint onto a piece of tape and put it over the scanner. The most popular room to breach was the fabled nap room, which unfortunately you never encounter on your journey. Wonderful. We have a centrifuge here. But to use the centrifuge, we need some other things. We need this. A half full vial of blood. Looks like someone's used this vial and resealed it. It's half filled with someone's blood. It's labelled with a piece of tape, which has the name written in orange pen. Helen. Okay, cool. A very important key for a very important room. In fact, it'd probably be the third or fourth most important room you'll visit on your journey. Not counting the very nice closet you spotted on the first floor. You think of that closet often, in your quieter moments. I think there's a picture of like the queen corn on the board there as well. Regardless, we now have the key that we can use to go back into that room I just mentioned. So we'll head back there now. If I can remember which way I'm going. I think it's this way, yes. Very important to call the coffee trolley, by the way. We've got a fingerprint scanner here, and we have tape with fingerprint on it, so let's do that. Oh, we don't have a fingerprint on it yet, shit. Okay. So this is a recording studio, as you can see, not a bio lab. Hey Ted, got some of the lyrics down during my shift. Think it's gonna be a real hit. Bob, you wrote one line, you lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarten up. Lots of wine in here. Obviously, we're having a great time. Ted, Ted, great news. There's some focus testing for the song, and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really has an ear for it. Get it? Because of the corn? Stop playing around with the corn and get back in the studio. We have no time to waste, twit. So they're trying to write a song, I think, to, um, I think, generate money. I'm not entirely sure. We've got some glitter and rhinestones here. Bob, you musically illiterate half witch. You can't change the key 16 times in one song. I nearly passed out because of all the shifts. What did they say? <laughs> Bob, despite your best efforts, I actually think the song is acceptable, though I despise your presence with every fibre of my being. Get down here so we can press a copy of the song, moron. And you'd better deliver on those distribution plans. Hey Ted, looks like our cost overruns ate into our distribution budget, as in it's gone. Sorry, probably shouldn't have made that power ballad cover. That sure was expensive. Live and learn. What? But we can get fingerprints from this keyboard, so let's do that here, shall we? Got Bob, Bob's fingerprint from the keyboard. Not Bob's, Bob's. Again with garbage? Whoa. These are all useless things you take, idiot. I just flew there. Having no interest in guitars at the recording studio, decided to take what you thought was less complicated instrument and began banging it against the wall. Fantastic.
You didn't think this was an instrument, instead you thought this was someone that you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours, regretting nothing. Oh, I missed this item before. You mistook this for a peculiar animal and waited several hours for it to say something to you. When it didn't, you decided to take it. You now carry it over your head like a battle standard. Okay. Very, very interesting. So yeah, these have been put in alphabetical order now, which makes finding the things that I kind of wanted to find... Well, actually, they're not in alphabetical order. They're just, like, in a random order, as far as I can tell, which is really, really weird. I'm going to just uh, double-check a few things, and I'll, I'll read to you some pages relating to the recording studio that I missed. This was from down here. Effective at making any area you encounter feel more like home, though you will never be sure if it's in fact its original colour scheme or a pattern of stains better left unknowable. The question remains on your mind for several days. Looks like this is the booking schedule for the facility recording studio. Most notable is that neither of the founders seem to have occupied in the studio at the same time, except for a very brief two minute interval once a week or so. According to a famous rock band logic, this would meet the ideal working conditions. In blue pen, I live a life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind. An imbecile for a right hand and a prison I'm inside. The next lines are in red pen. I need a girl who can understand the burdens of this life, whose name will go after an ampersand in whom I can confide. A sheet of lyrics for a hit song. I'm not entirely sure that's going to be a hit song. More like a shit song. But still, you know. A very serious letter informing the heads of the facility they will be subject to a very thorough audit by the government in the near future. Judging by the amount of no's written across the page, Ted did not take the news too well. We also have this note here. It's a draft of a letter sent to the US government requesting for a full audit of the research facility. If you understand the concept, you'll be able to discern that it was clear forgery with the founder's signatures practiced several times underneath, including phrases like, needs to sound stupider in orange pen. It's presumed that the finished copy was successfully sent to the government, triggering the audit. Okay, so someone has grasped up Ted and Bob. Someone who was working here undercover, perhaps, or something like that. Actually, I don't think it's undercover, but still, someone who was working here has uh, told the government. And we now have the fingerprint so we can press the hot new single on a CD. There we go. This technology was so new at the time, each CD of the founder's pop single cost several thousand dollars to press, which made this the most cost-effective operation at the facility. <laughs> okay, so. We don't need to go down there just yet. We need to go over here. And use this. Hi Ted, check out the new screen measure I added. Installed in a few security places. Sales of the single are going to go through the roof. Poppy dummy. Now everyone hates a song because they have to hear it ten times a day. Have you ever wondered why we're here? I always thought we came to be thanks to a conglomeration of circumstances too large for us to comprehend. Or maybe because it's sunny outside. Yes, of course. But why aren't we over there? I don't know. Should we go? Bob, where in God's name is everyone? What happened to all our stuff? Hey Ted, think I left a note about that. I had to let them go to cover the crawling costs. Also, FYI, we have no money left. Whoops. Everything's going really well. We have... Ted has completely blocked this unfathomably sized Fabergé head out of his perception, so he doesn't have to think of it of its even more unfathomable cost. Bob was very disappointed when this one didn't have any chocolate inside of it. I wish we had that joke so already. much garbage! There is no more garbage left for anyone else! It's maybe a fancy hat, but it isn't the fanciest hat in the land. The title belongs to a top-notch brown bowler owned by an office clerk in Brighton. This is a very... I suspect this game is British, judging by its sense of humour and stuff. Very in line with mine. We need to dress this up, you see. So we now we have a, a head. On retrospect, the price of gigantic Faberge egg didn't need any more dazzle, but there's nothing you can do about it now. That is permanent. So we have a, a fake head we've made. And I think the most important thing we need to do now is uh, call this... Ah, uh, no, I missed the spot, didn't I? Well, 
what I can do is go to... Where's the science lab again? Trying to recall where that is. Sorry, guys. You have to bear with me. I think in here. That can go in there, but we need something else to put in there as well before we can continue. The question is, what is it? Can you look at this computer for me, Vladdy? Bob, I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. For a change, do something useful and make the security room more secure, adult. Well done, you idiot. Now we're all locked out and fix the lift, moron. It's going very well, Lanny. Okay, so this isn't panning out quite as I wanted it to. Based largely on the fact that I actually can't remember what to do here. <laughs> So we need to open that door somehow. There's this area here which I think we can't do a lot with at the moment. Yeah, we need a key fob to open that door. I'll eventually figure things out, guys. Maybe we can get the coffee to go over this way. Coffee? I think I need your help. Coffee trolley, come here. Come here, cooperate with me, please. Come on. I need my coffee. I need my coffee. Get your ass over here. Alright, here we go. So we're going to build another thing to full security. And then it's going to scan. Which raises the top floor here so we can actually explore up here and get a few more key items. Look at this stupid place. How much garbage is in here? Put in an active key fob, which is what we need. Let's take this inactive key fob over to the lab so we can make it. So I didn't realize this, but I think a key fob is like your genetic print in a key. Like, it seems, it seems to be the thing that makes sense. Because we're going to put it in the centrifuge here and make a copy of Helen's key. Because we have Helen's blood. We'll make a copy of her key. What the fuck is all this, by the way? <laughs> Helen's key has now been made. Which means we can now open Helen's office and see what's inside there. As you can see, Helen likes to draw in orange. That faked audit request was an orange. This is the one. And Helen seems very, very keen on this place, right? So, this is all we needed from here is the coffee. Because of the company's awful procedure pr production procedures, every batch of Ranker beans is of a different taste. In this jar's case, it tastes like the back of an old chair. Lovely. We got Helen's journal somewhere in here, so let me just uh, find that quickly, because that is what you also find in this room which would be very important. Here we go, Helen's journal. Run entirely in orange pen, most of it faded, but there are some words you can read. Some of the phrases include idiotic facility, credit stealing imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, low at the corn's intelligence, do it myself with my genetic code, and ruby corn. So I'm assuming that the queen corn we met is actually Helen, perhaps? Or, or certainly got her genetic code involved somewhere, it seems. There are some other notes written by Helen. I'm not sure where they are. They're not that interesting. But Helen obsessively writes in orange. Obsessively, as you can tell. Pretty weird. But now we have the coffee. We can give that to the little cart. And it can be really happy. Go. Whoop! Voila. And here we are in the security room. Vladdy, get in that vent. We need yes, to get some doors open. Vladdy go. Vladdy always go. Oh, you guys, so many, you stupid idiot. What is this stupid thing? <laughs> this place is one big joke. Well, Vladdy not laughing. The vice pay on Pesnio. What is stupid giant crank doing here? Pointless. 
Vladi has to do everything. Stupid American garbage. Chitanya Veselo. What? Is that it? Ding? That means nothing. Uh, this whole place makes no sense. Ha! I've got you now. Oh, good. Idiot planted oh, shit. ugly face is here again. Oh, you cretin! I will make you pay for your continued insolence. How will dumb ugly plant do that? By, uh, by so boy, boy, guys, so many, yeah, damn, yeah, I look. Why are you always biting? Why are these plans always so difficult? Ow, stupid idiot plan! Oh, that was very rude. Yes, quite. What an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat. It's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favourite place, that punishments room. <gasps> the punishments oh, yes. room? So tacky. If you want, if you want your stupid, stupid mean pet back, back, you'll have to come and get, get it. it. I've taken it to be punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. After that, we'll take another nap. What a great idea. I hate him so much. So much. Okay, so this is as far as I got before, um, you know, before I realised that my sound was not recording properly. So, as of now, things will be blind. And we'll go through the notes and stuff as we find them again. Sorry about that, guys. Let's give her a good old jab! I just, I just, I just feel need to repeat something, guys. Princess Sophia. Princess Sophia is pregnant. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. She's fully conscious for this, obviously. I think that's how it works, actually, right? Is this a very birth fully conscious? I don't fucking know. This... I feel ill. I just... I just... Oh, fucking hell. Clean it all up. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. 